1958, when I was pioneering church. En 1958, cuando yo estaba comenzando una iglesia. One famous doctor's wife was converted. Una una esposa de un doctor muy famoso se convirtió. She started coming to my tent church. Y ella comenzó a asistir a la carpa mía. But she was paralyzed on half part of her body. Pero ella estaba paralizada a la mitad de su cuerpo. And she was pulling herself like this. Y ella entonces eh, se, eh, a, a, arrastraba parte de su cuerpo. On one evening while she was praying. Y una tarde cuando estaba orando. In the church she began to laugh in very eerie way. Repentinamente ella comenzó a, a reírse de una manera muy rara. I was scared. Y yo, yo tenía miedo. And she came to me. Y ella vino a mí. Pastor, what happened? Y ella dijo, Pastor, ¿qué me está pasando? I tried to pray. Yo traté de orar. But I, I laugh in very eerie way. Pero, pero me doy cuenta que estoy riendo de una, una manera muy rara. I have goosebumps rise up all over my body. Y, y tengo la piel como de gallina y una cosa muy fea. Pastor, help me. Pastor, ayúdame. But at that time I was a young preacher. Pero en ese momento yo era un pastor joven. I didn't know too much about demons. Y yo no sabía mucho de los demonios. So I said, sister, you must be very tired. Y yo le dije a la llamada, es que usted está muy cansada. Do not pray anymore. Ya no, ya no ore más. Go back home and rest. Mejor vayas a la cama y descanse. And please do not come out to the early morning prayer meeting. Y por, y por favor, no vuelva a la reunión de oración en la mañanita. She looked at me. Ella me volvió a mirar. You always ask me to pray. Y me dijo, usted siempre me está pidiendo que yo ore. You always encourage me to come to early morning prayer meeting. Siempre estoy insistiendo que yo venga por la mañana, mañanita a orar. Now how come that you ask me not to pray and not to come to the early morning prayer meeting? Y ahora por qué me está pidiendo que yo no ore más y no venga temprano a orar. But I said, sister, I'm afraid. You are husband is a doctor. If something ever happened to you, he'll put all the blame on me. So please do not come out to the early morning prayer meeting tomorrow. And she left. So I prayed. Oh God, let her not come to the early morning prayer meeting. So next morning I went to the early morning prayer meeting. Surely enough she was there. I was scared. I stood up to preach. Suddenly she rose up. She began to laugh. Oh, we felt all scared. And one by one, people stood up and left the church. And only we two were left. It was very hot summer day. So I went to her. I said, lady. Why do you act like this? Then the guttural voice like a man began to come out of her mouth. Today I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill this woman too. We have been living in this body for more than 10 years. Much better people than you try to cast us out. But they fail. You can't cast us out. So I said, who are you? We are demons. I was frightened. Because in Bible college never taught me about demons. They said the demon lived 2,000 years ago. But in this civilized world there will be no more demons. But right now the demon is speaking out of her mouth. So I said, why do you live here? Yo le pregunté, ¿por qué usted vive aquí? Because we've been living here for 10 years. Y él me dice, hemos estado viviendo aquí por 10 años. 
she, she tried to become Christian. Y ella dice, trató de convertirse en una cristiana. We are going to destroy her. Pero nosotros vamos a destruirla. We are going to kill you. Vamos a matarla. Y a matarla a usted. So, I figured a little while. Then I said, how can I cast you out? Entonces yo me quedé pensando y de repente le pregunté, ¿cómo puedo echarte fuera? And the devil laughed. Sí. El diablo, estos demonios se rieron. Now I see that you are green bean. I'm gonna kill you. Yo te voy a matar. She jumped up on me. Y entonces, I said, Lord, save me! <laughs> Señor, sálvame. Oh, I was so scared. Estaba tan lleno de temor. And a few of my deacons came to help me. She right away began to prophesy about them. You commit sin there, you commit sin there, you did these evil things. The soon those deacons all went to the platform and began to fast, confess and pray. Then when they came to help me, the demon said, since you confess sin by hearing my sermon, you are my disciple. I'm going to go and enter into your heart too. They all stood up and ran out of church. <laughs> I was left alone again. Then I remember the scripture. You shall cast out devil in my name. So I said, devil? I am a child of God. She just said, in my name you shall cast out devil. So I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out. But devil said, no, we are not coming out. I said, come out. Devil said, we are not coming out. I said, no, you must come out. But devil said, no, we are not coming out. But I said, it's written in the Bible. You come out. But devil said, no, we are not coming out. All morning we fought. We were exhausted. Then all afternoon we fought. Y toda la tarde peleamos. And for eight hours we fought. Y por ocho horas peleamos. And evening fell. Y por fin vino la and I was so tired. Y yo estaba tan cansado. I said, devil, diablo, <laughs> come out. Ven fuera. And devil was so tired too. El demonio estaba cansado también. And devil said, we are not coming out. Y dijeron, nosotros tampoco salimos. Come out. Sal fuera. We are not coming out. No vamos a salir fuera. <laughs> oh, I became desperate. Mire, yo quedé en una situación desesperante. I said, oh God, her husband is going to come back home soon. Yo dije, ay Dios mío. Pronto va a llegar el esposo de esta señora. You must help me. Tienes que ayudarme. Then the power of God began to fall upon me. De repente el poder de Dios descendió sobre mi persona. I was full of the power. Y yo fui lleno del poder. I could stand on my two toes like a ballerina. Yo podía plantarme sobre mis pies. I reached to her. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, you demon spirit, come out. She shrieked. She fell on the ground. She wiggled. And the devil began to come out. Then she fell and she fainted. And I thought that she was dead. Oh God! She's dead! This worse than the demon possession. I didn't kill her. Help me! Father, resurrect her! And after a little while, 
She gained the consciousness. She was fine. Delivered. She said, I'm sorry, Pastor. When demons were fighting against you, I heard everything. I was so captured by the devil that I couldn't do anything. Finally, the devil were talking to each other in me. We can't stand any longer. He is filled with the Holy Spirit. Then demon, devil, demon began to say to each other, Let's go out! So they all went out. Hallelujah! So I said to her, go back home quickly. So she left. I was resting. And a little while, he, she was running back again. Running back to the church again. Pastor! Pastor! Oh, in the world, what's going to happen again? But this time she was different. She was jumping all around. She said, look at me. I am healed. I am healed. Hallelujah. Because of her healing, the famous doctor, her husband, publicly confessed Jesus as a savior. And later he became the elder of our church. Por cuanto este doctor dio este milagro tan grande, él después aceptó a Cristo públicamente y, y se hizo un anciano de nuestra iglesia. So many troubles happening because of demon spirit. Hay tantos problemas que son causados causado por los espíritus. Worldly people do not know how to handle the situation. Hay muchas personas que no saben qué hacer con la situación esa. But you know the truth. Pero usted lo habla, sabe la verdad. You can cast them out. Usted puede echarlo fuera. You can solve the problem. Usted puede resolver el problema. God has given you this authority and the power. Y usted tiene todo poder sobre los demonios. And number two. Y número dos. Bible says you will speak in other tongues. La Biblia dice que hablarán en nuevas lenguas. When you become Christian, cuando usted se convierte en un cristiano, the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in our heart. El Espíritu viene y reside dentro de nuestro corazón. Then when when we see the fullness of Holy Spirit, cuando nosotros buscamos la llenura del Espíritu Santo, then de God baptizes us with the Holy Spirit. Entonces Dios nos bautiza en el Espíritu Santo. Then we start speaking other tongues. Entonces comenzamos a hablar en otras lenguas. God gives us a beautiful prayer language. Y Dios nos da un lenguaje de oración muy lindo. And when you pray in tongues, y cuando usted ora en lengua, your mind do not understand. Su mente no lo comprende. But still you are spirit pray. Pero a pesar de todo su espíritu está orando. And you feel the presence of God strongly. Y usted siente poderosamente la presencia del Señor. Number three. Número tres. Bible says they shall take up serpent. La Biblia dice que tomarán serpientes. But the serpent came. Pero vino la serpiente. Serpent is the model of the Satan. Y claro que la serpiente es el diablo mismo. And Satan beguiled Adam and Eve. Y la serpiente engañó a Adam y Eva. Even nowadays the serpent is trying to cheat you, beguile you. Y aún hoy, en este momento, Satanás está tratando de eh, engañarle. But when you have Jesus, Pero cuando usted tiene Cristo, you are not going to be cheated. Usted no va a ser engañado ni defraudado. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! All the glory in this world toda is passing la, away. Toda la gloria en este mundo es efímera. But the uh, New heaven and earth is approaching to us. Pero el nuevo cielo y la nueva tierra viene descendiendo hacia nosotros. World the system is going to pass away. Los sistemas de este mundo van a pasar. New world is coming by Jesus Christ. Usted ha sido descubrido y ayudado por Jesucristo. So, do not be deceived by serpent. Pero no se ha sido engañado por la serpiente. Serpent is telling you that we have no future. 
La serpiente le va a decir que usted no tiene ningún futuro. But Jesus is telling us that you heaven and you earth is ready for us. Pero Jesucristo nos está diciendo que nos espera un nuevo cielo y una nueva tierra. Aleluya. Aleluya. And the Bible also says that they shall drink any deadly things. Y también la Biblia dice que si bebieren cosa mortífera. It will by no means hurt them. Dice que no les hará daño. There are so many deadly poisons in the world. Hay tantos tipos de cosas que envenenan en este mundo. We are poisoned by the hatred. Estamos envenenados por el odio. We are poisoned by the fear. Estamos envenenados por el temor. We are poisoned by jealousy. Estamos envenenados por el los celos. And so our soul becomes sick. Y entonces nuestra alma queda enferma. But when we pray in Jesus' name, pero cuando nosotros oramos en el nombre de Jesús, we are not going to be hurt by these spiritual poisons. Nosotros no vamos a ser dañados por estos venenos mortíferos. Several years ago, a great thing happened in my family. Hace varios años pasados, algo grande y maravilloso ocurrió en mi familia. I have three sons. Yo tengo tres hijos. My second son is now studying in America. Mi segundo hijo ahora está viviendo en América. But when he was very small, pero cuando él estaba muy pequeño, he was going to the elementary school. Él iba a la a la escuela primaria. And that particular evening, I was speaking at Full Gospel Fitness Men's Fellowship Convention. Y esa tarde particular, yo le estaba hablando a los hombres de el Evangelio completo. Emergency telephone call came from my wife. De repente vino una llamada telefónica de mi esposa. I went to telephone booth. And my wife was crying. And he came back home quickly. Your second son is dying. He is powerfully poisoned. No doctor, no medicine can heal him. Now he is dying. Come home quickly. Por favor, rápido, ven a la casa. My heart was broken. Mi corazón estaba quebrantado. Because I loved my second son best. Porque en realidad amaba más a mi segundo hijo tal vez que otro. So I rushed back home. Así que yo corrí a la casa. He was lying on my bed. Y él estaba acostado en la cama. He was trembling like a butterfly. Y él estaba temblando como una mariposa. His fever was very high. Su su calentura estaba muy alta. He was half unconscious. Y él estaba inconsciente. And he could hardly breathe. Y casi no podía respirar. He was poisoned. Y él estaba envenenado. In the school hour, en, en, durante el tiempo de la escuela, with his friends he went out to the street vendor. Él fue a donde había un hombre que estaba vendiendo un algo. And they bought food and ate. Y entonces compró una comidita por ahí y se la comió. That food was powerfully poisoned by evil person. Newspaper wrote about the story all over Korea. El periódico, claro. El periódico que está que estaba aquí. Hizo saber lo que había ocurrido. And I invited doctors. Y entonces yo invité a los doctores. They all shook their head. Todos me niaban la cabeza. It's too late. Y dicen es demasiado tarde. We cannot do anything for him. No pueden hacer nada por él. I was desperate. Yo estaba en una situación de desesperación. My wife was desperate. Mi esposa estaba desesperada. I saw God. Yo dije ay Dios. Let me die in this place. Por favor déjeme morir en el lugar de él. I already lived more than four years in the world. Yo ya he vivido más de cuarenta años en esta vida. Why should I live any longer? Por qué debo debo de vivir más? But this guy just has started to live. Pero este muchachito apenas comienza a vivir. He should not die. Él no debe de morir. He should live. Él debe de vivir. I want to die in this place. Yo prefiero morir en su lugar. But all of this whining wouldn't bring any solution. Pero todo este lloriqueo no estaba trayendo ninguna solución. Finally, I became very angry. Y por fin me dio una un coraje. I became angry about against evil men. Y yo estaba furioso en contra de este hombre malo. I became angry against evil. Y yo estaba furioso en contra de la maldad. I took off my shoes. Y entonces me quité los zapatos. I lost my necktie. Y entonces me aflojé la corbata. I took off my coat. Me quité el saco. I said I'm going to fight. Y yo dije, ahora vamos a pelear. I opened the Bible. Yo abrí la Biblia. I read the Mark 16 chapter. Y yo leí San Marcos capítulo 16. I read this scripture. Y 
They drink any deadly things. It will by no means hurt them. I said, Father, my son is poisoned. And the Bible says that they may drink poison and they will not be hurt. I believe this word. And I began to pray. But my prayer will not reach more than the ceiling. I felt choked. I was oppressed. I couldn't pray. Then I looked at my son. He's dead. Help, help me! Ayúdame. I can't breathe! No puedo respirar. I said, oh my God! Ahí decía, Ay, Dios mío. Then I tried to pray, de orar. but I couldn't pray. No podía orar. I felt like dying. Y yo me sentía tan mal. I confessed all of my sins. Yo confesé todo mi pecado. And I tried to pray, y yo trataba de orar. but still I couldn't pray. Pero no podía then my friend stopped breathing. Y entonces, mi hijo dejó de respirar. He turned into yellow. Y él comenzó a volverse casi amarillo. And when I felt his, his body, y cuando yo toqué su frente, he was cooling off. Él, él, él está, él, él, se estaba volviendo frío. And devil came to me. Y vino el diablo a mí. Ajá. Y me dice, ajá. Your son is dead. Ahora tu hijo está muerto. You can't believe in the word of God. No puedes creer en la palabra Now, de Dios. Now, tomorrow, look at newspaper. Ahora vas a ver lo que va a salir mañana en el periódico. They will write like this. Van a escribir así. The famous doctors, a uh, famous preacher son died. El, el hijo famoso del predicador se murió. His God could not help him. Su Dios no podía ayudarlo. I became desperate. Y yo me puse en una situación I de said, desesperación. Father, y yo dije, Padre, I will not go back. Yo no voy a, a echar atrás. I will die here. Eh, yo voy a morir aquí. If you don't give resurrection to my son, si usted no a mi hijo, I will never rise up. Yo no me voy a I will die here. Yo me muero aquí. I said, name of Jesus Christ. Yo dije, en el de my son should come back. Mi hijo tiene que I can't let him go. Yo no puedo According no, to the word of God. La del Señor. Give me this resurrection. De, de esta I prayed one hour. Y yo oré una hora. I I prayed two hours. Yo oré dos horas. I prayed three hours. Yo oré tres horas. I was shocked with the perspiration. Y I was deadly determined. Yo estaba, pero determinado hasta final. Suddenly something happened. De repente algo sucedió. The heaven broke open. El cielo se abrió. All the resistance disappeared. Toda la resistencia desapareció. I felt free. Yo me sentí libre. Tremendous peace came into my heart. Una tremenda paz invadió mi And I knew that my son would come back. Y yo sabía que mi hijo iba a de la so I came to my son. Yo vine mi hijo. I said, Samuel, y yo le dije, Samuel, in the name of Jesus Christ, en el de I command you to come back. Yo te que tú a la and next the moment, y en el momento, he just jumped up and sat down. Él brincó y se sentó. And he began to breathe. He, a he said, Daddy, I'm coming. He, dice, Papá, aquí vengo. he opened his mouth. Y él abrió su boca. He began to vomit out all the poison. Y comenzó a vomitar todo el veneno. My bed was messed with the poison. Y él estaba lleno de veneno. But he was breathing. Pero él estaba, eh, estaba respirando. He said, Daddy, say hello to Jesus. I said, where is Jesus? Oh, he brought me here. He is with me here. But I couldn't see him. But I said, Jesus, thank you. Pero a pesar de todo, le dije, Ay, gracias, Then he said to me, Daddy, when I was desperate, Papá, cuando yo estaba en desesperación, when I couldn't stand any longer, cuando ya no podía aguantar no más, suddenly I was out of my body. De repente yo salí de mi cuerpo. Oh, I was peaceful and joyful. Y había un gozo y una paz. 
Then I found Jesus standing beside me. Y entonces encontré a Cristo que estaba parado a la par mía. And I saw many angels surrounding me. Y yo miré a muchos ángeles que me rodeaban. And I saw many of our elders and deacons who had been deceased. Y yo miré a muchos de nuestros diáconos y ancianos que ya habían muerto. And they were all welcoming me. Y todos me estaban dando la bienvenida. I was very happy. Y yo estaba muy feliz. And Jesus was ready to take me. Y Cristo estaba ya listo para llevarme. But he was lingering. Pero él estaba como deteniendo. So I said, Jesus, why don't we go? Así que yo dije, Jesús, ¿por qué no nos vamos? Jesus, we can't go. Y Jesús dijo, no, no podemos ir. Your father is not letting us go. Porque tu padre no permite que yo me lo lleve. He is holding on. Él te está agarrando en oración. Then Jesus said, I can take you home. Entonces Jesús dijo, en un... Jesús dijo, no puedo llevarte para los cielos. You must go back to your body again. Usted tiene que volver a su cuerpo otra vez. Your father will not let you go. Porque tu padre no está dispuesto a dejarte, a soltarte. That moment he heard the sound. En ese momento él oyó un sonido. Samuel, rise up. Oyó este sonido. Samuel, ponte de pie. So he rose up. Así que se levantó. Ever since he has been very healthy. Y desde ese punto hasta ahora ha estado en una salud perfecta. Now he is going to the Bible College in the Southern uh, California. Ahora él está en el Instituto Bíblico del Sur de California. He is husky and tall, strong. Muy alto y bien fornido. Whenever I see him, yo lo veo a él, my heart is melting with thanks to the Lord. Mi se con al Señor. I once lost my son, but regained. And my son was dead and resurrected. Mi hijo muerto, pero ahora All because of this scripture. So, so por esta if I had not this scripture, si yo no esta I would have persisted. Yo no hubiera continuado persistiendo. Bible says faith comes by hearing. La Biblia dice que fe viene por el oír. Hearing by the word of God. Y el oír por la palabra de Dios. I read the scripture. Yo leí esta escritura. The scripture gave faith into my heart. Y esta escritura produjo fe. So en I could have power to persist. Para que yo tuviera el poder para persistir. Brothers and sisters, do not eagerly give up. Hermanos y hermanas, no se dé por vencido. When you have the word of God. Cuando usted tiene la palabra. Stand on the word of God. Persist. Persist in the word of God. Fight. One hour. Two hour. Three hour. One day. Two day. Three day. Till you get the answer. Do not retreat. No Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Promises yes. Esa promesa es suya.